Hi, my name is Nathan, and welcome to The Daily Word. On today's episode of The Daily Word, we'll be in Exodus chapter 15, verse 2. Let's read the scripture together on the count of three. One, two, three. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Our daily word for today is the word exalt. Let's say this word together, exalt. So what does that word exalt mean? It's not so common these days to see the word exalt, but it's a valuable word to know. When we see the word exalt, another word that you can use in the place of exalt is to praise or to honor, praise and to honor. Those are words that might be easier to understand that you might hear more often in our daily conversations these days. But to exalt something means to lift it up in honor, not necessarily physically, but just to lift up that name or that thing to receive praise and honor. So for example, when you have an award show, you know, perhaps for the best movies in the year, or the the best music, or the the best athletes. When you have an award ceremony where you're, you're choosing specific people or things to be honored and praised, you are exalting those things. You're exalting that person who did such a good job in a movie, or you're exalting that song that was so popular. Usually when you say the word exalt, it means that you're taking something or someone and you're putting it high above the rest in honor something that's extremely important and valuable. You can say a king is exalted. You know, a king is high above the rest. It's not the same as a common uh, villager or a common citizen. A king is honored. You can look at it just in their way of life and uh, the amenities they have. A king is exalted. So remember, to exalt something or to be exalted means that you're putting something high above the rest in honor and praise, celebrating that thing or that person to exalt them or to exalt it. So now we have an understanding of the word exalt. Let's bring it back into Exodus 15, chapter 2. So in this verse, what we're seeing is it's seeing that the Lord is being exalted and says, the Lord is my strength. The Lord is my song. He will be exalted. He will be praised. So that's showing the heart, the heart of someone that has a profound experience with the Lord's glory and power and blessing in his life. To say that the Lord is my song and the Lord is my strength is to mean that you understand his power over yours to come to your aid when you have no strength left, to know that the Lord is my strength. To say that the Lord is my song is to say that I will celebrate only the Lord, the Lord is what I'm most excited about. The Lord is what brings my life the most joy, the Lord. And all of these things lead to saying that let the Lord be exalted and praised. In order to exalt the name of the Lord, and that's a powerful word, exalt. It's not just praise. Like I said, it's not commonly used these days, but to say that I will exalt the Lord or let the Lord be exalted in my life. It means that for you, the Lord and his presence in your life and who he is compared to who you are, it means that you are ready every day to bring glory and praise to the Lord because of who he is, not because of who you are. To say that I will exalt the Lord means that I dedicate my life to lifting up that name. When you're talking to your friends or your coworkers or to your family, I will exalt the name of the Lord. I will honor him with my words. When you do your work, as hard as your jobs are, I will honor the Lord and I will exalt the Lord in my commitment to this job. In your relationships, no matter how hard they are and how much you want to quit and you want to say, I can't take it anymore and I'm out, you say, I will exalt the Lord, not because I'm righteous and I'm good, but because he is the Lord and he is your strength and your song. So if we haven't experienced his presence in our life leading us to say that he is my song, he is my strength, pursue that. Ask yourself if you've sought the Lord and the presence of the Lord 
and ask the Lord to take you deeper into that relationship so that you can confidently say that. But if you experience that, let everything you do exalt the Lord because He is the Lord. He is the King. And He is good and He is holy and He loves you. But He is the Lord. I can do all things with the strength of the Lord, not my own. And I will rejoice in the Lord and not all of the things because he is the Lord and he is good and he's there. He's there all the time. So let your life exalt the Lord, celebrate him and honor him. Let the Lord be exalted. Well, that does it for today's episode of the daily word. If you liked this video or if you found it helpful, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. But more importantly, if you want to try to use this word, it's another challenging one. But think of some things that you exalt in your life, that you set apart from the rest. Think of some things that you want to bring extreme honor to and praise to, or some things in the past that you have exalted in the past. But again, ask yourself if you can confidently take your day and everything in it and commit to exalting the Lord in everything you do. It's a challenge and it's a great challenge because the Lord's presence is waiting to be revealed in your life. Well, my name is Nathan, and this was your Daily Word. See you next time.